money can buy, is what Will Rogers says. And then on a more serious note, Felix Frankfurt of the U.S. Supreme Court Justice said, the real rulers in Washington are invisible and exercise power from behind the scenes. So chapter one is renaming our politicians. And before I read a little bit of this, I want to let you know that a lot of times people will write a book that isn't some of the topics you have as far as, you know, adolescent uh, fiction, and that sort of thing. They'll write a book that says, do something, let's get going. You read the book, you get fired up, and they don't give you really anything you can do except changing your entire lifestyle, quitting your job, and suddenly working 24-7 to make the world a better place. And that's not really workable. So what I've tried to do in this chapter, without you having to buy the book, I'm going to let you know something that you can do immediately that will be a litmus test for whatever politician you're in communication with. So here's chapter one, renaming our politicians. The power residing in the hands of the people of America is not simply a catchphrase. It was the desire and intention of our founding fathers in hoping to keep government and elected leaders under the control of the proper authority and the true owners of this country, or of any country, the citizens of any country. Currently we call our elected officials politicians, and I believe strongly that they need a name change. We should make it universal that our elected officials go by a new name that fits better with the true responsibility they assume when taking any office they are elected or appointed to. That new name should be public servants. 